In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on July 13, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Liberty vs. Chicago Sky We have an exciting nationally televised WNBA matchup scheduled for Saturday, featuring the New York Liberty going head-to-head -head with the Chicago Sky. These teams recently faced off on Thursday, where the Liberty emerged victorious with a 15-point win at home. With this win, the Liberty have taken a 2-1 lead in their season series against the Sky. This game marks the final regular season meeting between these two teams unless they encounter each other again in the playoffs. The New York Liberty are performing exceptionally well this season, establishing a significant lead over the Connecticut Sun for the top position in the Eastern Conference. In their last outing, they secured a 91-76 home victory against the Chicago Sky. Forward Jonquil Jones had an outstanding game, contributing 18 points and 13 rebounds. The Liberty have excelled in scoring, averaging 86 points per game, placing them second in the WNBA. Their defense has also been impressive, ranking third in the league by allowing just 77 points per game. With one of the best rock in the league, the Liberty are poised to continue their dominance as the season progresses. The Chicago Sky have shown resilience this season, working hard to recover from a challenging start. However, they are coming off a 91-76 road loss to the New York Liberty in their latest game. Rookie forward Angel Reese maintained her double-double streak, recording 10 points and 10 rebounds. Offensively, the Sky need to improve as they rank 9th in the WNBA, averaging 79 points per game, with a shooting percentage of 42.3%. Defensively, they are performing better, ranking 6th by allowing 81 points per game. The Sky have been playing well recently and need to maintain their momentum as the season continues. When these teams met two days ago, the Liberty won convincingly by 15 points. The significant difference in their recent performances lies in their defensive capabilities. Over the last four games, the Liberty have allowed just 73.5 points per game, while the Sky have given up 82 points per game. Offensively, the ability to hit three-pointers is crucial with the Liberty ranking fourth in the league with a 34.7% success rate from beyond the arc compared to the Sky's 11th place at 30.7%. Limiting second-chance points is another critical factor, with the Liberty leading the league by allowing only 8.6 second-chance points per game, whereas the Sky rank 11th, giving up 12 points per game. While it is often said that beating a team three times in one season is challenging, the talent disparity between these teams suggests otherwise. Angel Reese's double-double streak is noteworthy, but her impact hasn't translated into victories for the Sky. In their last matchup, despite her 10 points and 10 rebounds, the Sky still lost by 15 points. Sabrina Ionescu has been on fire, scoring 20 or more points in each of her last three games, and Brina Stewart remains one of the league's top players. John Gould Jones is the key player to watch, as her size and skill set provide a significant advantage over Reese. In their last game, Jones outperformed Reese with 18 points and 13 rebounds, so the new liberty to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Sky managed only 76 points against the Liberty in their previous game and have scored under 80 points in each of their last three games. Both teams do not frequently get to the free throw line, which keeps the clock running and limits scoring opportunities. The Liberty, known for their strong outside shooting, rely heavily on three-pointers and do not attack the basket as much. While Reese is a presence inside for the Sky, she is not yet a dominant scorer, primarily contributing through second-chance opportunities. New York's defense, ranked third in the league, is expected to continue stifling Chicago's offense, just as they did in their last game. It is unlikely that both teams will replicate their shooting performances from Thursday. The Liberty are unlikely to make 13 three-pointers again while also getting 20 free throw attempts. Considering the strong defensive performances throughout the season, with the Liberty holding the fourth best defensive rating at 96.1 and the Sky following closely in fifth place at 100.2, the game is expected to be low scoring. The defenses also do an excellent job of limiting free throw opportunities, with New York allowing just 15 free throw attempts per game, the best in the league, and Chicago allowing 20.1 attempts, ranking 9th. 
Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Sparks vs. Dallas Wings Two of the lowest performing teams in the WNBA are gearing up for a clash on Saturday as the Los Angeles Sparks travel to face the Dallas Wings in a Western Conference showdown. The Sparks have struggled significantly this season, managing a record of just 5-17. The Wings, although slightly ahead, hold a similar 5-18 record, making this matchup between two struggling teams particularly interesting. The Los Angeles Sparks enter Saturday's game against Dallas on the back of two consecutive have losses and have lost four of their last five games. In their latest game on Tuesday night, the Sparks were defeated at home by the Western Conference leading Minnesota Lynx, 82-67. The Sparks struggled offensively, shooting only 41% from the floor and a dismal 3-for-2-0 from three-point range. Dirica Hammy led the team with 18 points and eight rebounds, but she was the only player to score in double figures for the Sparks that night. So far this season, the Sparks have split their series with the Wings, each team winning one game. They hope to break their losing streak on Saturday against the equally struggling Wings. Offensively, the Sparks rank 11th in the WNBA in scoring, 10th in field goal percentage, and 7th in three-point shooting, making an average of seven three-pointers per game. Defensively, they are 10th in points allowed, 11th in field goal defense, and last in three-point defense. Additionally, they rank 10th in both total rebounds per game and fewest turnovers in the league, with a point differential of minus 7, placing them 11th in the WNBA. The Dallas Wings have had a season plagued by injuries, resulting in a disappointing first half. They have lost four of their last five games, slipping further down the Western Conference standings as the WNBA season approaches a month-long break for the Olympics in France. On Sunday, the Wings were soundly defeated by the two-time defending champions, the Las Vegas Aces, with a final score of 104-85 in Las Vegas. Odyssey Sims was a standout for the Wings, scoring 25 points on 1-1 of 1-8 shooting, including 3-5 of five from beyond the arc. However, their perimeter defense struggled, allowing the Aces to make 14 three-point shots. The Wings come into this matchup with a 5-18 overall record and a 3-6 record at home. They rank 6th in the WNBA in scoring this season, 5th in field goal percentage, and 10th in three-point shooting percentage. They are also 9th in three-point field goals made per game. Defensively, the Wings are at the bottom of the league, ranking 12th in points allowed, 12th in field goal defense, and 9th in three-point defense. They are last in turnovers per game and have the worst point differential at minus 8.6. They rank sixth in total rebounds. Evaluating the Dallas Wings' performance against the spread reveals a troubling record. They have managed only one win against the spread in their last 10 games, standing at 1-9-0. Despite their struggles, the Sparks have shown resilience and potential. Dirica Hamby recently achieved a significant milestone of 3,000 career points, highlighting her impactful presence. Additionally, the return of Azura Stevens from injury has bolstered the team with her scoring and rebounding abilities. Lacia Clarendon's steady playmaking, reaching 900 career assists, adds to the Sparks' well-rounded attack, keeping them competitive. Although Dallas has a potent offense, the Sparks have demonstrated defensive grit and the ability to stage comebacks. They often battle back when trailing, suggesting they can stay within striking distance of Dallas, even in challenging games. Given Dallas poor against the spread performance, defensive weaknesses, and the Sparks' balanced contributions from key players, the Los Angeles Sparks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Defensively, the Sparks have allowed 82 or more points in each of their last five games, including two games where they conceded over 90 points. The Wings' defense has fared even worse, allowing 95 or more points in each of their last four losses, with two games seeing opponents score over 100 points. This game is likely to feature numerous turnovers, as both teams are among the most turnover-prone in the league, leading to easy scoring opportunities. The Dallas Wings have consistently exceeded the point total, going 8-2-0 to to in their last 10 games. And 15 to 7 to 1 overall this season. Their offensive surge is driven by the scoring prowess of Natasha Howard and Odyssey Sims. Howard and Sims have been prolific scorers, complemented by the exceptional passing of Eric Ogenboyle, who recently set a career high with 13 assists. The Sparks' defensive struggles make the over an appealing option. The Sparks allow opponents to shoot 46% from the field, ranking 11th out of 12 teams in the league, and concede 85 points per game, placing them 10th in the WNBA. This combination of poor defensive metrics against a high-scoring team like Dallas creates a perfect scenario for a high-scoring game. Moreover, both teams will have multiple days of rest leading into Saturday afternoon, allowing their offenses to operate at full capacity. Thus, over the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.